Everybody plays here because they want to play college hockey and levels beyond that. The organization is great. It's tremendous. We have very good facilities, very good training room, very good uh, workout room. Our sports medicine guy, Kevin, he's the best. He's hidden gem in the league. Um, he treats us really well. Our athletic trainer, Kevin Melby, he's the best I've ever had. He's the best in the business. I'd say the main difference between Minot and other places is everything's top of the line. We have the best bus to travel with, everything's organized, and they really set goals for you and expectations. It's kind of fun to watch throughout the season because you'll see yourself starting to meet these expectations and climb and improve in these ways that you didn't even know you could. We have everything that our players need to to continue their development from, from obviously first class facility to shooting cage, uh, weight room on site, uh, training staff, um, just uh, the, the support that our players get to continue their development is uh, second to none. If it's like nowhere I've ever been a part of, that's for sure. So a couple days a week, we will have morning sessions before their practice uh, and really hone in on certain parts of their games that they don't get to during team practices. The skills at this level, they're all obviously there. It's just a matter of honing in on uh, changing an angle of a kid's shot, maybe their hand movement on their sticks, uh, where their weight transfers come from, what foot they're shooting off of, some of the kids' weaknesses that you're just trying to uh, strengthen for them. I played all across the country for various different junior hockey programs and I've never been treated as well. The support system here in Minot, being a hometown kid, I mean, I'm very fortunate to be here. You know, I'm so thankful every single day I wake up, I look forward to going to practice. I look forward to seeing the boys and especially game days. I really look forward to seeing the fans, my family. You know, I moved away at a young age and being able to come back and play in front of everyone again, you know, the support system is unreal and I'm just so fortunate for that. The fans come here and they support you and the community supports you, so it means a lot to support them back. So I played here 2013-14 uh, and 2014-15, almost two full seasons here. And it's just, it's a great city. It was always something that I always wanted to come back, whether it was going to be to coach the Toros or just finding a job up here to live up here. It was a place that I wanted to return to. The job opening came up with the Toros and I was lucky enough to get it. Our culture embodies a winning mentality, commitment, and family. It's really shown here the last, last couple of years, especially this year coming back and with a new team, a new coach, they're always supporting us and it's very good to see everyone committed on the same page as trying to reach an end goal of win the Robson Cup at the end of the year and just the family part of it as well, helping us and supporting us through everything. What attracted me to, to Minot was just the the tradition of success and in my opinion one of the best best places to play junior hockey in all of North America. To be able to have an opportunity to to come in and be the head coach of the Toros um, was really a no-brainer for, for my family and I. Our mentality is, is we treat it these athletes like they're division one athletes at all times. And the biggest thing is the environment that we create is a culture that they want to play for one another. Because what we do or say, like it, at the end of the day, they're, they're the ones that have to go and play the game. So my job and, and the job of the staff, in my opinion, is, is just to create an environment where the guys want to play for each other, get better every day. And um, that starts in the scouting part process, especially with the character of the players that we bring in. Um, and when you get a group of individuals that all kind of think alike, is alike especially character-wise, um, it, it can lend some cool results. Compared to when I played here, the, the facilities are immaculate. I mean, everything that we had when I played here was great, but now what we have to offer these kids between the training room, the, the locker room's first class, the, just the arena itself, um, it, it makes it a place where a kid would want to come play junior hockey. And between that and putting 2,000 people in here on a Saturday night and, and all those screaming fans and signing autographs after games, and it, it's a true junior hockey experience at its finest. 
how the whole management treats us well, fans treat us well, the, even the Booster Club. We got very much some very good support from boosters, from billets, from everywhere. Personally, I was uncommitted when I came here during my age out year, and within three months, I was committed to a, a top program in the country. And, you know, that's something I have to attribute to the coaches here and, and kind of just the ins and outs of the organization. None of it would have been possible without them. On the scoreboard, I mean, the, the playoff streak is, is something, you know, very tangible. But I think the, the biggest success is the amount of players that they move on to the Division One level. Um, and then outside of that, uh, preparing these young men for life. Probably been the best decision I've ever taken. I just wanted to experience something new and just the whole American way of playing hockey. I love it. It's definitely not for everyone. Like there's been a lot of European players trying to come over and didn't really make it. But if you have the mental toughness and can play, like if you want to play college hockey, it's one of the best routes you can take. I couldn't ask for a better place to play junior hockey. It's definitely a place that brought me in and treats me as one of their own. So it, it's great and I love it to death. Wouldn't trade it for anything. If you asked me this two years ago, I probably would have been like, my not North Dakota, not a chance. But now I'm gonna tell everybody to come here and live the experience because it's like no other.